Hey everybody, NWA Prepper here. So I just want to give you an example of why you want to be ready for emergencies today. Emergencies happen every day to everybody, every walk of life, every socioeconomic group, every religion, everything. It doesn't matter who you are, emergencies are going to happen to you. And so, if you're ready for a if you're ready for a grass fire at your house by having uh, a set of demon demon blah, 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 blah. <laughs> a set of demon I can't even say it of cotton overalls or coveralls or a flame retardant material coverall if you've got a couple rakes if you've got a blower uh, backpack blowers work great and you've got an axe and a shovel Those are a great start to being able to be prepared for a wildfire or a grass fire or woods fire. If you have plenty of garden hose, that's even better. And there, there's some other things, but so if you already have that stuff in a box, you're just that much more prepared for a fire. Now you can still use that stuff on a daily basis. You're still going to chop limbs with, with an axe you're still gonna rake leaves you're still gonna you know water the garden you're still gonna do things that utilize those pieces of equipment but if you have them together and ready meaning ready knowing where they are and then being in some organized fashion then when you need it or you think of something an emergency you'll have it a first aid kit does you no good sitting on the shelf at Walmart for you thinking, oh, I need to go to CVS Pharmacy and, and pick up that first aid kit I've been looking at. You know, you've got to have those things easily accessible and you have to already have them. Another thing is, is if you have a first aid kit, it's wonderful. I'm excited. It makes me smile. But if you have your first aid kit and it's buried in your barn or it's under a big pile of of an important prepper things that you haven't organized yet it's not going to do you any good when you need it in an emergency if you're not sure where something's at you know you know you have an extra flashlight somewhere but you don't know where it's at so you're in the dark you're fumbling around it's storming outside you know something happened to the power you need to make sure everything's okay and you got to fumble around to find a flashlight you need to know where those things are you need to sit down and think what's gonna happen if I am sitting in my chair and it's nine o'clock at night it's dark it's freezing outside and the power goes out What's your total reaction? What's the first thing you're going to do? What's the second thing you're going to do? What, you know, and plan on that to be perfect. So I'm going to get up from my chair. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to walk to the wall. There's a little shelf there. There's a flashlight there. I'm going to turn it on. The batteries are going to be great. It's nice and bright. I'm going to see where my coat is, put on my coat that's by the door. And I'm going to go out and see if there's any sparking lines around my house or if I can see any down power lines or trees that may be damaging my property. You know, I'm gonna be warm because I had a coat and a hat and gloves. I'm gonna be safe because I had a flashlight and my fire on near me. Okay, now start and break that down. So get up and do it. Is that flashlight where it's supposed to be? Does it have batteries? Is there things in the way of it? You know, that you need to, does it need to be in one certain spot? Do you have a good coat by the door or did you take it off and throw it on the dining room table? Do you have some shoes or boots that you can easily get into? Just 
go through all these things and then just that small tiny thing you can modify for okay it's nine o'clock at night and all of a sudden I hear tire screeching in a big crunch I'm gonna get up I'm gonna go to the plate to the shelf I'm gonna get the flashlight I'm gonna get my coat put my shoes on and I'm gonna grab the first aid kit by the door or the first aid kit out of the bathroom and I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna look and see what's going on you can build upon that and make it more and more elaborate the more you learn or the more you put thought into it. I want you to be prepared. And the first step of being prepared for any emergency, whether it's somebody cut their finger in the kitchen or whether it's a car wreck or whether it's a zombie apocalypse, is you have to have the mindset of a survivor. And to do that, you've got to be thinking every now and then of the what ifs. What if that car swings over from those other lanes and smashes into me? What if this? What if that? Don't sit there and be scared to death and, and, and terrified of those things. Look at it as an opportunity to react and go, okay, so if this happens, I know I'm going to get my flashlight that's here, that I changed the batteries a couple months ago when I changed my smoke detector batteries, which is when I changed the clothing and the food and the batteries in my bug out bag, which is when I checked the batteries those are just some of the things and the reasons that you need to be prepared you need to think of those things it's not about being paranoid it's about being prepared I certainly don't encourage anyone to give up who they are and what they do today to solely focus on the dark times or the disasters or the end of times I want you to live for today, but keep in mind tomorrow. You know, I, I mean, it's just one of those things that go ahead and drink that bottle of water today, but when you buy one, put one back for tomorrow. It's not about disaster, it's just about being ready. And I want you guys to be ready. I believe that together we can do it if we try. So, like always, Let's get ready.